the Scott and Steve Show on Lakeland's Lake Event Radio. Scott and Steve. Hey, here we go, everybody. It is lunchtime on a Wednesday, which means it's time for the Scott and Steve show. Uh, Scott is here. Steve is uh, working, but he'll be in a little bit later on. He works. That's what they claim. So, uh, Steve, as you work, work faster, my friend. Work faster and do your best, and we'll see you here really soon. Uh, Jeremiah is here with us today. Jeremiah on the boards. How are you doing today, sir? You know, going. All right, Normal go. thing and stuff and that. All right, very good, very good. We're glad to, that you're here. Uh, I, I'm glad you're here because otherwise I'd be sitting here looking at the screen going, uh-oh, here we uh-uh. go. Yeah. So, Just like, you know, Steve and I because he doesn't know how to work a thing well, up in that, here. Well, that new stuff, uh, got to be got to be trained to make it happen. We'll see and uh, go from there. But anyway, we're glad that you're here. A lot going on in the sports world. Let's hit the Lakers first if we can. Uh, your Lakeland <laughs> men's soccer team will be in action this afternoon at 3 o'clock, Lakers this afternoon at 3 o'clock in a quarterfinal regional game. Uh, so come out and support your Lakeland men's soccer team as they play host to Lake Michigan College 3 p.m. today. Go Lakers. Go out and kick some butt out there today and have some fun with it. All right? So uh, soccer, 3 o'clock on Lakers Field. Later on tonight, we have our women's volleyball team playing host to Owens Community College. It's a 6 o'clock start for the volleyball team. So uh, you got something to do tonight, Mm -hmm. come on down and check out the Lakers out. 3 o'clock, though, quarterfinal game. It's free, as is the volleyball game. It's free. Come out and watch them and support your teams. Or if you're bored in that, go online at lakefactoradio.org forward slash sports. And what can you do there? You can uh, watch watch the volleyball game. Yeah. There you go. Watch that game. Whole nine tonight. yards. You gotta love it. So go check them out. I almost said live stream. <laughs> that would have uh, been a bad thing. That would have been bad. But uh, new technology, new ways to go about it. So, yeah, come check your teams out uh, today. If the men's soccer team, if they win today, um, then they will travel to Schoolcraft this weekend and they will uh, take on, they'll then make it to the semifinals of the regional play. Um, and uh, we'll see who, see who they face, depending on how they do. Um, but if they are successful over the weekend, then they go to nationals. So this is a big weekend for them. If they can play well these next three games, uh, things work out. But they are home today. Check them out. Go Lakers. All right. Mm-hmm. Big night last night. My Red Sox. My Red Sox took game one of the World Series. That was, uh, oh, I'm not going to even. Oh, you're slaying me. Go Sox, baby. Yeah, Sox won game one. I didn't realize the World Series. (laughs) They beat up on the Dodgers 8-4. to Chris Sale against Clayton Kershaw in a pitching duel that they didn't, neither one of them made it out of the fifth inning. So uh, it was a uh, pretty good game, though, overall, of course, for my, for my victory, uh, victory-laden Sox. we got to love that. Eduardo Nunez uh, hit a big three-run homer in the seventh inning. Got to love it. Cora, Alex Cora, he's been doing a great job mixing and matching things, making things happen. Everything he's touched has seemed to go the right way for them. So uh, we got to say uh, go Sox. Game two is tonight, 8-10. And they have uh, Ryu pitching for the Dodgers against David Price for the for the Red Sox. Um, Price, as you may know, has got his first postseason starting pitching victory his last time out as he beat up as he uh, shut down Houston uh, to move on to the World Series. So David Price goes tonight for the Red Sox. Any thoughts on the, at that at all? Uh, not really. <laughs> I know you're gonna say that. Man of many words. Be honest. Learn. I'm probably not. Even, or wait, they play tonight. They play tonight. Eight eight oh nine. I'll probably not be even be able to watch it anyway. Why is that? What's going on? Life stuff, things, commitment. Busy life. Busy man. Busy life. Like yeah. me, I haven't watched an Ohio State game since like. The last week in September. Uh, well, we'll get into Ohio State here. We gotta wait for Steve to get here to get into Ohio State. But yeah, we'll we'll definitely talk. Now you know we have to buy food for him today because the yeah. f- flipping Browns found a way to lose again. So we'll talk about that in a little bit, I'm sure. And I, I I will not make another bet on the Browns the rest of the year. I'm done betting on the Browns. They absolutely uh, crush yeah. me every time I bet for them. So. They shot themselves in the foot enough. You're not kidding. They did it again this weekend, but uh, we'll get into that a little no, bit No, they're in the game. They shot themselves enough in the fight. Oh, for sure. For sure. I mean, they, they had their opportunities again, uh, and again, things didn't go their way. I guess it's a, a wash, rinse, and repeat thing here for uh, for the Browns. But, uh, for yeah, true. they're unsuccessful once again. But uh, what I'd like to hear is, uh, back to baseball real quick, if there's any fans out there who are – 
Yankee fans. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, if you are a Dodgers fan, I'd love to hear from you. Houston fan, love to hear from you. Love to talk to anybody who knows anything about baseball. And uh, I would love to see both teams lose, though. Uh, it's kind of impossible at this point. I know. So uh, go Sox, baby. Unless both stadiums burn down in a flash fire. They'll just they'll just move the game to another site. And, what happens uh, if those catch on fire? <laughs> yeah, we can play this game all day. You know what would be neat is if they had to move to Yankee Stadium and Boston wins it again in Yankee Stadium as they did earlier this year. They clinched in Yankee Stadium this year. They beat them in the first round at Yankee Stadium this year. Yeah, let's go to Yankee Stadium and win a World Series. That way New York can see how it's really done. I'd love to see that. Or maybe How many we can move do to they have up on you? We can, who? Yankees. Yeah, not the man. What, what, what are you talking about? How many World Series do they have more than they have? Oh, shoot. So what have you done for me in, a, in this century is what you're asking me? Is that what you're asking me? No, if you're going to say that. I mean, you know. I mean, so, yeah. How many of you guys won? Uh, three more this century than the Yankees. How many do they have overall? I don't know, what, 25, 26, something like that is what they probably want to proclaim. We're on our track. It's all right. What have you done for me lately? Does it really matter what they did in the 1800s or the early 1900s? Does it matter? Does it really matter? Is it history of a team? Well, yeah, but they weren't always the Yankees back then either. I don't know. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, they were, they were, uh, that was, what were they? Well, of course, the Brooklyn Dodgers moved out. The Yankees, I forgot what they were called back at back that time, but, uh, you know, who cares? What have you done for me lately? All I know is right now, Boss is the best team in the on the planet, uh, and uh, we wish them yeah. luck as they move forward tonight. Just like Steve, him They're going not. and gloating on Facebook, but I shut that down pretty quick. Well, I mean, Dodgers are a good team, but all I can say is no. They, I'm not they, talking they, about yeah, baseball. They, he was floating over the weekend about something, but I shut that down really quick. I don't know, man. Michigan had a big win over the weekend. I, I can't say it. Ohio State just knocked themselves out of contention, in my view. Uh, mm-hmm. There's, there should be absolutely no way they make it in, but you know it's Ohio State, so if there's a will, there's a way. They'll try well, and win their way. On. The interesting one of this weekend, which is LSU and Bama. That'll be a very good game. Um, that's going to reflect in cause some. Shake ab- absolutely, up. that's not this weekend, though, is it? Yeah, I think it is. I thought LSU had Mississippi State this weekend. And that uh, Bama was up. I could be I wrong. Know. I might be a week off is what I'm saying. Am I? Uh, we got the interweb. The World Wide Web here on Lake Effect Radio. As steady as she goes. Yeah, when you were sitting there loading that, someone accidentally put some blackmail up. Oh, uh, look at this guy. Okay. That shut All that right. down really quick. I like the beard, though, he had. Steve had a very nice beard <laughs> back then last year. It looked good. Look looked good. <laughs> Well, yeah, so let's check that out real quick. We do have to find a, uh, a game to, uh, to wager on, if you will. And I'll, I'll take any and all comers on the Red Sox, the Dodgers series, I might add, if anybody wants to go out there with the Dodgers. No guts, no glory, I'm sure, but uh, I'd be more than happy to uh, discuss. Even Georgia that. and Florida, that's going to be. That'll be a good game. It's at Georgia. Um, so, I mean, I would, be, I'd, I would pull that's for Georgia. That's going to shake out two games. They'll shake up the top ten. Unless they finish close. I mean, Georgia's seven, Florida's nine. If Georgia wins by a field goal, it doesn't do anything. You know what I mean? It's, it's, there's, a lot, there's a lot out there from that aspect. Yeah, I thought that um, Alabama was off this week uh, as well as oh, they uh, are. Notre Dame is off. I'm sorry. No, no. they are. LSU I thought was off, and um, uh, Michigan is off as well. Notre Dame goes Let's to Navy. See. Maybe that was next week. I was seeing here looking. They do at play it. soon. They do play soon. I, I, I could be next week. Just look to your next week station there, and uh, up on top you could pick oh, the week. Yeah, next week. Next week. So that'll be the game. That obviously, that's we'll going to shake up the top ten. It could. Depending, it could. even Penn State. What about Penn next State? week? They could put down a statement. You never know. Who do they play next week? On Michigan. Yeah, that's possible. That's possible. Where's that game at? Michigan. Michigan. Michigan will roll. At home, I don't know. Will roll. They got knocked twice this year. I don't know. They'll had that I had it moment. That could be. That could be. It's some big games that will shake up the top 15, if not top 10, in the next two weeks. In the next couple of weeks. Next this couple week, weeks. next yeah, week. I was saying this week I'm not seeing much. Uh you got 
You got uh, Clemson at Florida State, Notre Dame at Navy. Navy's always tricky. Navy's tricky. Um, yeah, Michigan's off. How about UCF? Number ten UCF. Gotta love them. They beat Florida. They're still undefeated. They were national champs last year, if you recall. Uh, UCF. They're the ones that proclaim, proclaim themselves the national champs after they went undefeated throughout the year. Why don't I even remember that? Yeah, they had a, they had a big ceremony at their own school, saying that they were national champions, and they went undefeated uh, throughout the year and proclaimed themselves national champions. Um, Something that pathetic, I should have remembered. <laughs> you know, well, they're undefeated again this year, so uh, you know who knows. Uh, they did they did uh, come in at number ten this week, though, uh, one ahead of uh, Ohio State. So uh, I find that quite interesting as as they move forward. But we'll see what happens here in the near future. Uh, even Appalachian State is now ranked in the top 25. Oh, so, Steve would be angry right now. Yep, so Appalachian State came in at number 25 this week. So uh, good for them. Congratulations, and uh, we'll go. We'll go from there. Kind of funny, seven years later. Yeah. yeah. Too soon? Not for me. Yeah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> but, yeah, yeah, that's, that's we'll all. We'll have to bring this back up with a certain somebody comes that's back. exactly right. Exactly. So let's talk about uh, – you have any predictions on this World Series at all? Or are you not following it close really? enough to Really? I just don't care about either team. How can that be? The the best team in baseball you don't have a care about. How can that how is that possible? Very easy. I don't care about them. <laughs> all right. You want to ask me about the Dodgers next? Go ahead, ask me. Do you even know I flat don't care. Dodgers? What about Manny Machado and his his antics? Are you a fan, not a fan, not care, not paying attention? Is Not, that one of the coaches on one of the teams? Oh, my God. You're embarrassing ourselves and in in the radio show as a whole with that lack of knowledge of sports. Especially Kyle being the Dodgers fan that he is, I really don't care. All right. All right. We'll let that go, <laughs> man. We'll let that go. Let's talk NBA real quick since uh, it's been a while here. Um, not that anybody cares, but the Lakers are off to an 0-3 start. And uh, this and um, people are, are still not loving LeBron in L.A. Um, that, that that breaks anyone's heart. But uh, over the, this past week, there was an interesting situation. There was a little bench clearing brawl, and uh, Ray, uh, Rondo, Mr. Rondo, got into it because uh, he's now a teammate of LeBron's, um, and uh, he got into it with Chris Paul, who's obviously not on their team. And LeBron, lo and behold, went to Chris Paul and tried to pull him back and 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 hold him back and and do that as opposed to his own teammate. And so LeBron's taken a lot of flack for, um, of course, coming to the defense, holding back the structure of, of a non-teammate uh, in an incident. Uh, That's on the pathetic. Court. That's kind of where it's deal. at right now. Yeah, you know, it's LeBron. What are you going to do with LeBron? Um, he grabbed an opposite guy. whoop de do. Someone else from his team can grab the other guy. They're both throwing punches. Someone's got to grab the other dude. Just saying. Though I understand what you're coming from there, you would you would think I, I believe that the first person you would go and pull off would be your own guy, wouldn't you? He was on the opposite side. He wasn't staying behind him. Okay. So right. yeah, I'm just telling you what's out there and that kind of thing. Just you know, saying in that yeah, he you know, I get it. But the only thing is, if you're not on the right. Side, side or behind the pile when sure. it's happening. Sure. If your guy's not there, what do you do? Oh, let me walk around to, to grab that dude. Yeah. yeah, there's there's a lot of ways to look at it. Yeah. Because regardless, you go into that pile and try to pull your guy away, you're just going to cause more construction to it. That it's just going to be taken not good. Very possible, very possible. But you know, he is he is catching flack on it nonetheless. So uh, I think it's sort of pathetic that he's catching flack yes. on the whole situation. Well, he's not loved out there. He's not loved here. He's not loved out there. So LeBron's kind of uh, on his own right now. Now, of course, winning cures all. You win some games, and uh, you know the the tide may shift. But as of right now. Things are not so happy out in L.A., nor are they that, all that wonderful here in Cleveland as they're struggling to uh, win some games as well mm-hmm. and have uh, had, a, had a difficult time. Uh, um, I had a feeling anything. it was going to be, you know, after seeing the day after and that, the video and that, knew it was going to be flat given. Right, right. But it's kind of pathetic. My book. 
Yeah, it's you're talking with a LeBron situation there. Yeah, well, that's yeah. like let's say you put yourself in the situation of you got you know should you grab if you're down at a game opposite right. side player and your guys and all that should yeah. you grab your guys or not? Right. Well, in our situation, you would hope that our guys would would listen to me more quickly since they know me. Um, but uh, yeah, it's it's a difficult situation. You're you're separating mm-hmm. kids. We've had that situation, unfortunately, here, and it's hard. It's hard. Mm-hmm. It's a lot of people going all over. So yeah, it's uh, definitely a uh, definitely a tough one. But regardless, uh, whatever happens, as long as it ends, what does it matter? <laughs> Right. Uh, well, the, of course, the call is here is that Chris Paul will be a Laker here in the near future. That's that's kind of the uh, the mantra that they're mm-hmm. they're talking about. Uh, they want him to go. You know, um, LeBron wants him on his team, and uh, that's this, of course people read into that saying that's why he reached out there and that kind of thing. I, I don't think in a situation where something arises that you're thinking that far in advance of. Of uh, yeah, I'm doing this because I want you on my team. I think it's more of you're no. saying, hey, hey, that's situation. I'm just trying to break it up, go from there. Not letting you sort of know you want to see you just doing something stupid. You're closer. I'm not going to go and reach across the other side and get in the middle right. of this. Right. And that's agree. pretty much that situation. What happened? Right. I would agree with that. I would absolutely hold on. Because you go in there, you push your way in the pile to go to the opposite side and pull your guy away. You're just going to make it worse. <laughs> It's not yeah. going to make it better. I if it's agree. already punches being thrown, going and pushing more in it, it's not going to help. help. Doesn't, that doesn't calm it down? Even a guy as big as him? It's almost, <laughs> you know, it's a fire throwing rocket fuel on it. It's not going to make it go down any farther. Right, right, right. Just saying. I agree. I agree. But maybe what do I know? I'm just a college student. Listen, Well, but you've, you're an experienced college student. <laughs> right. True. So that's all. That's yeah, all I'm not a rocket good. scientist. You know, I don't know how to put out a fire. That's or your anything. next degree, right? Rocket science? No. No? All right. No ambition there. <laughs> that's very good. Very good. Science, not my thing. So what else is going on in the world here? What's what's going on, man? What do you want to chat about here? Before I, I feel like I want to wait for uh, the college football and pro football stuff until Steve gets here because so much of it impacts around his his thought process and our – Winning and losing, he should be here at any time. So what else is happening in the world from your perspective? Well, you got the Halloween party tomorrow. Halloween party, that's right. Tomorrow night, Thursday night. Yeah. Uh, they'll be uh, held right here at Lakeland, and that is in the main gym and the aux gym. There'll be stuff going on. They have the opportunity to um, have little kids come in here early and college students Six later in the afternoon. Eight. Six to eight for the little kids and then nine to uh, 11. 11 for the college students. People dress up, right? You're going to dress up? You're going? No, I'm going to be out of here either six or seven. Okay. All right, so you're not going to the Halloween party. Oh, that's disappointing. That's that's the show of the year. Like three or four years. Ah, show of the year. Hey, show I help year. set up from eight in the morning to whatever that I leave, six, seventh lock right. and that, and right. not be here. Okay. And I'm not saying I don't have my cell phone turned off. During well, that. either way, it's always a great event. There's a lot of people here, so I would encourage all students to check it out. Come on down to the AFC. Check out the uh, Halloween party tomorrow night, uh, 9 to 11, for the, um, for the college students. Dress up. Everyone always does. It's a really great time. Now, as far as like the little kids and stuff like that go, students, college students can come and help during that time, pass out candy, meet little kids, that kind of stuff, and go from there. Is that correct? Yep. They're right. looking for people down in two. Was it 224? I think cab is their oh, room number. Cab office. Yeah. Go to the cab office, get involved. That's a really good opportunity to do yeah, that. Yeah, still looking for people for running the kids' games. Nice. nice and that's nice. six to eight. You're bored around campus. All right. Go on down. Be a lot of fun there. All right, very good. What else is going on? Uh, I don't know anything else Holy going cow. on. Well, uh, November's coming, and we have a bunch of musicians in that emerging again. What what musicians you got coming up? I know you're heavily involved with that, right? Oh, yeah. So what, what do you got coming up? You got singer-songwriters, all bands, rappers. You How mix. about early on? Anything, anybody early on you want to highlight? Uh, you got next week in that Kim Kennedy. She's going to be here the 29th. Who's Kim Kennedy? Tell me about her. Singer-songwriter. Local. Sort of do folkish, right. alternate type stuff. Right. Not including, she's the one that actually did that. 
the David Bowie drawing. Oh, nice. Very nice. Yeah, that was hand done. Uh, she's a local artist, right? So she's coming in here and she's plugging something. What's what's what does she got going on? Her music and all that, right. not doing her one other side okay. thing of doing art. Okay. She's been, you know, going over to summer and that doing artwork on people's, you know. Does she have a concert or a, a performance coming up soon? Or anything? Is she probably Oh yeah, she probably has different gigs and that right. coming up. So too. hopefully she puts some out like that so people yeah. go out and check her out. Anybody else coming up pretty uh pretty interesting for Michael you? McFarlane. Another singer-songwriter. Yeah. What, what's going on with Mr. McFarlane? He has, what, an EP or sort of album release party and that. Okay. Friday and Saturday. Then so not including... What kind of music does he put out? Sort of all... Soccer players. Hey, turn around there, gentlemen. Come on back. Sorry. No worries. Can they I'm hear us out lie. there? Yeah, they should. <laughs> all right. No motion at all. So, okay. Or they just choose to ignore us. Yeah, one or be. the other. That could be. So McFarlane, he's uh, he's putting out what type of music? He does sort of the folkish al- alternative vibe in that. Okay. Let me look. So the twenty seventh, he has. You had to message the page, the McFarlane Manor. All right. That he's doing then release party for his upcoming album, including the odd posts. Was it Odd Mall Outpost? Hmm. A show on Saturday. Very cool. Very cool. Yeah, on Halloween, his new EP square dropped too. All right, come here, gentlemen. You get come on in. Yeah, yeah. You, both you guys, come on. We'll tell him to come on in real quick. Come on. Come on. We got some uh, baseball gentlemen here. We're gonna come in. Got to get to put them on here real quick and talk to them because they will definitely have some insight. Notice the hat that Kyle is wearing as he walks in, and, and try not to be offended as he comes in here in the studio here in just what a hat? moment. Oh, that hat? Yeah, try not to be offended as he comes in the studio. Come on in, gentlemen. How are we doing today? Can Come I buy your have hat? A seat. <laughs> have a seat for me. Now, Matt, you got class here real quick, you said? Yeah. How long you got? Two minutes. Two minutes. What about you? Two, Two minutes five. also? All right. Pull up, pull, a mic. pull up a mic here real quick. We're going to get a quick synopsis. Why don't you introduce yourselves real quick. Speak right into the mic, gentlemen. And uh, you don't need to less. Well, you can hear us. No. Go ahead. Speak right ahead. Tell us. Introduce yourself, Cal. Uh, I'm Kyle Spinelli. All right. I'm from Toronto, Canada, and I'm on the baseball team. Okay. Uh, I'm Matt Dietering. I'm from Menor, Ohio, and I'm also on the baseball team. All right. Now, gentlemen, we were just talking a little bit about uh, something's going on. Uh, it's called the World Series. Uh, is there anything you want to share any thoughts on that? Now, I want to know for our listeners that Kyle's wearing a god-awful hat today, which we've told him to get rid of, but he just, for some reason, doesn't know how to Can do that. Can you take a picture and post it in his office? Oh, it's, it's, <laughs> god bless. So tell us what's going on, man. I know you got to go to class, so try to make it quick. I don't know. I think, I think Red Sox will take it all. I but, definitely think. I'm not just saying that because you like them, but, uh, but uh, I think Red Sox will definitely take it all. All right. What do you think, Matt? Uh, I agree with that. Uh, I think some of the pitchers might be using a little too much pine tar. But the pitchers are using too much pine tar? But, I mean. The pitchers. Get, yes. Come on now. But it's, it doesn't guy. matter. They're going to keep hitting bombs all day, so <laughs> they'll still win. The pitchers are using. Now I'm hearing every excuse there is in the book. The pitchers are using too much pine tar. Uh, Come uh, on. There's a video. There's a video. There's a video of, of pitchers using pine tar. Yes, I forget who it was, but on his arm, on his forearm. You're talking about Clay Buckholtz how many years ago? Uh, I don't even know. Yeah, exactly. He hasn't even pitched for Boston in years. So that, that's okay. Hey, since you're wearing a Yankee hat, I did hear, um, do you know the difference between a, a Yankee stadium dog and a Boston Red Sox hot dog? No, I do not. The difference is you can still get one in Boston today. <laughs> that was a good one. I'll give it to you. <laughs> yeah, there you go. All right. So how many games is it going to take? What's dry. the prediction? Boston mm. and what? Six. Six? Six. So back at home? Yeah. What do you think? I say they go full seven. Seven? Oh, okay. All right. So that means you got uh, Evaldi winning game seven, and, and uh, game six will probably be, uh, well, it could be sale, could be price, one of those two, uh, depending on how they switch up their rotation a little bit. Any Anything else on last night's games? You guys watch it? Mm, not really. 
Not really. Now, how about you? Boston's pitching was nasty. <laughs> they they threw well, and that and Sale threw actually had good stuff, but his his command was horrible. He was all over the place. But I did think that the umpire was squeezing both um, both yeah. pitchers last night. Very tight zone, and I think that impacted both Sale and and uh, Kershaw uh, as they went forward. But uh, hey, it was a great game from my end. Sox come out on top. That's always a good day. Uh, Yankees didn't win, so that makes it twice as good. And, uh, you know, get rid of that hat. I don't know how many more times I'm going to say that to you. Burn it. Go Blue Jays. I'm okay with that. You know, they're not bad for a, for a minor league team. Please take a picture and post it in his office. Blue, the Blue Jays aren't a bad minor league team. I'll actually pay you. Right? <laughs> Were they, do- they, they double A, double A, triple A, Toronto? The the double A the double A team is doing really well. No, I mean the Toronto Blue Jays are they double A now or are they are they up to triple A? You think next year? Uh, probably triple A. All right, well, yeah. good. So that means they might compete for third or fourth place in the, in the division. So that that's so, very so. good. <laughs> <laughs> John Tyson with the Indians now. You you okay with that? Not at all. <laughs> okay, all right. All. What do you think about Donaldson coming over to Cleveland? I mean, I think it's a good move. I just hopefully he doesn't get injured. He has been hurt a lot over his career, so uh, we'll, we'll see what happens with him. Obviously, he's got another year. Uh, now, he's a free agent, though, if I understand correctly. Is that right? So you think yeah. he'll uh, stay in Cleveland, or do you see him moving on? Uh, I really don't know, to be honest. Okay. All right. What do you think? Is he going to go back to Toronto? Uh, no, I don't think so. I don't think so either. The clown's here. Oh, I mean, wait, Steve. Steve is here. All right, very I'm good. I'm sorry. Very good. Very good. We didn't want your pizza to get cold. And we didn't want your soda to get warm. So we'll get it as soon as the show is over there from that. Uh, do you guys want to make a friendly wager on the rest of the series? I know you're both shooting for Boston, so uh, I guess I, I guess I can't do that with you because you, you want them to win, and, and you're smarter than that. So I, I guess that'll be all right then. All right. Hey, Lakers uh, men's soccer today, 3 o'clock, Laker Field. Come check them out. It's a playoff game, quarterfinals uh, of the districts. Uh, so come check them out, 3 o'clock today. You guys go to a class. What class you got? I got math. Sociology. All right, how are those classes? Never been better. I have a test today. <laughs> Jesus, don't be late. You guys got to go then. Don't be late. All right, guys, thanks for stopping in. Take care, and uh, go Sox. All right, let's take a little break right here as we get going here. We'll, we'll uh, be back in action in just a minute. Jonathan is a student who depends on his Cardinal Visa credit card. This is uh, my Visa card. I got it from Cardinal Credit Union with Houston's help. Cardinal loan manager Justice Adama Vicious. There's no annual cost. There's no maintenance fees. There's no balance transfer fee. I went to other banks and they didn't look at me the way he did and give me a chance. He asked me what I'm doing in life, what I'm going to school for. We are helping people, not judging them. Cardinal Credit Union, everything to brighten your financial future. Just call Cardinal at 440-266-2200. Stop in a branch or apply online at cardinalcu.com. Cardinal President Christine Blake. Listening to your story, saving you money, anyone can join. Cardinal. People helping people. Cardinal is open to anyone who lives, works, worships, or attends school in Lake Cuyahoga, Geauga, Ashtabula, Portage, Summit, Mahoning, Trumbull, or Columbiana counties. This institution is not federally insured. Deposits are insured by American Share Insurance up to $250,000 per account. Loans subject to credit approval. Callan needed a car loan, and she turned to Cardinal Credit Union. Well, I came to Cardinal and talked to Dietrich about getting a car loan, and he explained everything about the financing step by step, so I understood. Being a member of the credit union already, Callan knew that we offered the lowest rates possible. What I like best about Cardinal is the money that I saved and the money that I'm going to save. What she said. For new or used auto loans, it's easy. Just call Cardinal at 440-266-2200. Stop in a branch or apply online at cardinalcu.com. Cardinal President Christine Blake. Listening to your story, saving you money, anyone can join. Cardinal. People helping people. Cardinal is open to anyone who lives, works, worships, or attends school in Lake Cuyahoga, Geauga, Ashtabula, Portage, Summit, Mahoning, Trumbull, or Columbiana counties. This institution is not federally insured. Deposits are insured by American Share Insurance up to $250,000 per account. Loans subject to credit approval. Cardinal Credit Union. People helping people. You're listening to Lakeland's Lake Effect Radio, the official home of Lakeland Sports. If you want to watch or listen, you can tune to lakeeffectradio.org sports. 
Military veteran students who study at Lakeland first meet with a Veterans Affair certifying official who processes and certifies educational benefits for eligible students. The staff has been phenomenal, said Lakeland student Michael Dugan, who is a retired Chief Petty Officer from the U.S. Coast Guard. The Veterans Lounge is a great place to frequent prior to class. It's great to be able to show up a few hours early, do some final prep, enjoy a snack, and be able to meet fellow veterans. A generous grant from Wells Fargo Advisors, LLC, helped to set up a Veterans Lounge in 2013. The space, complete with study areas, a computer and printer, a refrigerator, and a television, serve as a meeting point for student veterans on campus to connect. Each May, graduating student veterans are recognized at the college's Veterans Recognition and Graduation Banquet. Lakeland Dental Hygiene Clinic, open to the public, $50 for adults and $10 for kids and senior citizens. Service includes exam cleaning, any necessary x-rays, and a fluoride treatment. Services performed by Lakeland Dental Hygiene students and their supervision of licensed dentists and dental hygiene faculty. Call 440-525-7220 to book your appointment. Morning, afternoon, and evening appointments available in room H039. Make no friends in the pits and you take no prisoners. One minute you're up half a million in soybeans and the next boom. Your kids don't go to college and they've repossessed your family. Are you with me? The revolution starts now. Starts now. We have to pass the bill so that you can uh, find out what is in it. Turn those machines back on! Lego Sex Radio! And we have to start by building a wall. A big, beautiful, powerful wall. Go Bingo! If we lose freedom here, there's no place to escape to. This is the last stand on Earth. You're connected to the best variety of music on the planet. Lake Effect Radio at lakeeffectradio.org forward slash studio. Callan needed a car loan, and she turned to Cardinal Credit Union. Well, I came to Cardinal and talked to Dietrich about getting a car loan, and he explained everything about the financing step by step, so I understood it. Being a member of the credit union already, Callan knew that we offered the lowest rates possible. What I like best about Cardinal is the money that I saved and the money that I'm going to save. What she said. For new or used auto loans, it's easy. Just call Cardinal at 440-266-2200. Stop in a branch or apply online at cardinalcu.com. Cardinal President Christine Blake. Listening to your story, saving you money, anyone can join. Cardinal. People helping people. Cardinal is open to anyone who lives, works, worships, or attends school in Lake Cuyahoga, Geauga, Ashtabula, Portage, Summit, Mahoning, Trumbull, or Columbiana counties. This institution is not federally insured. Deposits are insured by American Share Insurance up to $250,000 per account. Loans subject to credit approval. Cardinal Credit Union. People helping people. Scott and Steve Show on Lakeland's Lake Event Radio. Scott and Steve. Guys, we are back with the second half of the Scott and Steve Show. I'm happy, happy Wednesday. Happy Report. Steve is now with us here. So, That's Steve, right. welcome. Thank you very much. Hope you got all that work done you need to get done. Yes. Uh, been a busy day. Busy day. Not not. Hopefully that's not police wise. I was just hopefully that's a good busy. Just office wise. <laughs> Let you me never want to do like that. This guy, you know, the he's a smallest violin. That's a serious. <laughs> he loves his sound does, effects. Guys. This is why he comes in. That's you realize right. this is it. He, he gets to show them. off with his sound effects to make it happen. That's right. All right, so we held off, for those listeners, we held off uh, to our football talks this afternoon because yeah, we know that yeah. Steve uh, would want to be at. So do we want to talk college or pro first? Let's start college. I mean, college, Saturday right. came before Sunday. so That's a good point. All right, so um, college football, there's some big games this past weekend. Yeah. Um, yeah. You had a good weekend, I'm sure. I did. Yeah. I, I enjoyed thoroughly my sporting uh, observations for the weekend. I know Jeremiah doesn't share in those observations, and most of the listening base doesn't either. But uh, Michigan won. Michigan, they won. Michigan beat, Michigan beat State. Up, uh, Michigan State. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to say they beat them up, but twenty-one-seven. Yeah, it yeah. was. It was, it was up there. You know, just weather delays, lightning delays, right? Yeah, they had to like evacuate the uh, the stadium. Yep. Uh, because of the crazy weather they had, but they eventually got the game off, and there was some uh, pre on field. Uh, activities that took place, which is still probably in the sporting community being talked about. You know, uh, it, it definitely flared up on uh, later that evening and Sunday uh, with the two coaches going at it, more or less. Not uh, a lot of love lost there. Huh? No, no. Yeah. That's and that's what happens when you have two in in state rivals. Right. So who are uh, also very close to each other. Right. Yeah. Mind, I think they're know. separated by about an hour. Yeah. About yeah. an hour. So. so uh, 
but uh, yeah, you know, it, it's it's just a difference of perspective. Uh, Devin Bush being on the on the field and the Michigan State, as and I'll use Jim Harbaugh's words, uh, stormtrooper esque march <laughs> into the stadium, locked arms right. uh, for the width of the field. And continued to push and push and push and push. Right so, while Michigan State was stretching, I believe. At right that while time, Michigan was out, out on the field stretching. stretching yeah. So it was. It was. Yes. They viewed it as a intimidation factor, and right. then, uh, well, Mr. Bush decided he was going to go to midfield and just start hacking up the uh, uh, Michigan State Spartan logo on the fifty for about <laughs> about a good. Two to three minutes. Yeah, they solid. actually had to have a field grounds guy come yeah, out come and, out, yeah. and repair, if you will, yeah. the, the so, field. Uh, or, well, while it's a sign of disrespect, um, you know, I think it was a, I think it was a good retaliation. I think it was solid. <laughs> if anything, it uh, further ingrained that in-state rivalry. Right. So, um, but yeah. So Michigan, they uh, they moved up to five. They're the five now, yeah. You know, so they're so they're there. They're yeah. they're uh, in in the hunt, if you will. It's it's not going to be easy though. Yeah. They they still got Penn State and Ohio State. You okay. know, uh, in between, uh, I think Northwestern and somebody else. I think they saw the play. Right, right, right. So uh, their 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 they're road off this is week, not though, right. Yeah, they got to buy. Yep. Uh, but their uh, their road is not a smooth paved road right now. Right. So right. anything can happen. There's a huge bump ahead. I wouldn't say it's huge. Penn difference. State, Penn State yeah. is pretty tough. Uh, Penn State is, yeah, you know, so. especially that's in Happy Valley. So, right, right. Uh, yes. as Ohio State knows, it's tough to win there. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, that's the only real wait, significant wait, wait, bump wait, wait, that wait. I can think of. So when you get or when they get knocked off, who? Uh, Michigan by by Penn. I remember that. Okay, okay. Not including weight. Let's go to this. <laughs> 14 and 3? What are you talking about? 14 and 3. What is 14 and 3? 17. All right. Oh, there's more to it than that. What's 14 and 3? 17 years, 14 and 3. Okay, so you're only going back 17 years, right? Yeah. I, could, I could pull, like, the most winningest college program, football program ever. See, it's funny. We were having this I could trump earlier. that immediately with that. We're, we're, no. One series. What, I'm, I mean, what see, is he I'm trying about? to get him to draw this up. See if right. the Michigan fan can figure this out. Well, you know, it's interesting. Earlier today, we were talking about the Red Sox and stuff as well, and right. and, and the Stanky Yankees, excuse the me. And uh, in saying that, you know, I said, oh, you know, the Red Sox are, are doing well, that kind of thing. And his, his response was essentially, well, how many World Series have they won? And I'm like, what, this century? I mean, what, you know, how far right. back do we want to go, you know, from that process? So it. Stats can be played anyway. Numbers, numbers are For Ohio be State skewed. fans, they like to just remember everything post John Cooper. I see, I see. Sands Cooper, that's what we call it. <laughs> Speaking of Ohio State, how'd they so do this week? Finally weekend? Yeah. drawed that up? What's I'm, that? Finally figured that out. No, I've known that for a long time because they no. like to hide behind that. You finally figured out the 14 and 3 reference. Good. I did when you said it. I just don't acknowledge 17 <laughs> games out of a whole most winningest football program in NCAA history. I doubt that. Okay, you, uh, you. <laughs> never mind. Really we'll just leave that. it at that. All right, let's get we'll back. Just leave it at let's that. get back to this this year. How about sure. that? Let's talk about sure. this year. Uh, so Ohio State game. Yeah, how'd they do? You know, I'll have to admit, I was pleasantly delighted because I think this is the first Ohio State game I've ever watched from start to finish. While that wearing did, this Buckeye jersey. That didn't involve Michigan. And you know what? It turned out A-OK. Purdue looked good. Man. They, they sliced I don't know what it was. They, they looked I don't good. know if it was national television. I don't know if uh, the, the, the Tyler Strong message got into their heart. But, man, they came out solid. Obviously, they made the first strike with the touchdown, which knowing Ohio State, that, listen, this that, that, that means nothing, right. you know. But they kept going with it. Right. I mean, and then obviously the fourth quarter, fourth quarter, they kicked it in. Right. But Ohio State failed miserably. Oh yeah, they got they got. That, that, in my eyes, that knocked them out of a, the contention to go to the Final Four. It has to. It has oh, the to. Final Four, yeah, yeah, it yeah. Has I mean, to. I mean, even Big if they Ten, win, even Big if they Ten win champs the, is still obviously a possibility. Right, but even if they win it. 
I can't see him getting in with that kind of loss unless no, unless no something way. happens to the other. Hey, you got top Bama, five. you still got Notre Dame. I mean, right. there's, there's Clemson, no way. I mean, yeah, yeah, there's no way they're getting in. Yeah, I, and in I my opinion, agree. I think eleven in all series. And, and I'm trying to be as fair right. as possible. This isn't because I'm not on Ohio State. I don't think eleven was enough. Mm. You got beat by a completely unranked team, right? You know, and somebody had posted something in, you know, Facebook, whatever, blah, blah, blah. That, you know, Michigan fans, you know, oh, Ohio State wins, loses one game and Michigan fans, one of it, you know. Yes. But the difference is this. When we lose to Ohio State and when they lose to Appalachian State. No, no, no. Time out. Appalachian is ranked. Time out. (laughs) No. Back in the time they were. And guess who was ranked? Time out. Time out. Setting precedent. When, when Michigan loses to Ohio State, where is Ohio State in that ranking? They're usually a top 10 team. Top 10, we'll top say. Top 10, right? usually. Yep. We had a number two football team question, how the heck did you even get a number two? Well, when you got decimated by a completely unranked team. This isn't a top 10 team versus a top 10 team right. or a top 10 team versus 15 or 20 or 25. This is completely unranked. Right. And let and let's be honest with that. As, as you look at Ohio State's record this year, uh, they've played two teams that have that are five hundred. Right. One of them, obviously, Penn State, which they did win. Give them mm-hmm. credit for winning, but barely. It, but that was barely. that was stroke of luck. Um, and then the other team that they played as five hundred was Purdue. Purdue and Purdue smoked them. Right. You know, so I I I, I don't know. I, mean, I, what, and what I don't even do want to say. I don't that? even want to say Purdue smoked them. Oh, they did. They did. Ohio State didn't show up well, at yeah, all. Yeah, that's, they couldn't even punch a ball in on the three of the yard line when they're right. going for it on the fourth exactly down. Exactly right. I absolutely agree. There. I mean, and you want to talk Haskins possibly going into the NFL? No <laughs> way, dude. There ain't no way you're even ready. Yeah, yeah. No wonder why Bosa bailed. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I Urban Meyer had the same look on his face Saturday night that Baker Mayfield had on his face Sunday. Oh. Complete shock and awe and i would hate to be even a fly in that locker room because you know meyer had to been going ballistic for sure and the question then becomes is you know rumor mill is that he's having words with his ad and that kind of thing um but but the assistant coaches have got to be on the on the hot seat right now i gotta believe i think the whole program should be yeah that's not just i mean that's an embarrassing loss right it's not you did you just played lsu or Bama or something and you lost in a bowl game and you guys had a valiant year i mean that right that is how they respond to this could impact recruiting yeah. for many years. And we you know do. that. You checking my facts here there, young man? By the way, you're not right. Well, which one am I wrong? About the whole 500. Who's the host they play as 500? Purdue? Who they play 500? Who else? Indy. Indiana? What's, what's their overall yeah. record? I think 5-5 five and five or 4-4. Four and four, Maybe at the like time that. they weren't 500, though. Well, right we'll check it out. It says I mean, right now. It says right here. Maybe at the time. Check it out. Tell me if I'm right. Five hundred, four and four. That's five hundred. Okay, so when they played, what was their record? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, they were over five hundred then. Oh. They only had two losses. Okay. All right. So I. And the second one happened that day. So it actually makes Scott's case better. Yeah, I stand corrected. So they they played a five hundred team and 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 eat that one out, right? All right. Not good. It's still not good. Man. Not good. Not good. All right. So uh, <laughs> look at this. He's boiling. Yeah. He is so boiling. No, I'm not. Did you watch the game though? Did you honestly watch it? No. No. You would have been disappointed. The last one I seen was. You like, would have been. I, I I don't know. I the mean, last. I, you know. I mean, I take it hard. You know. Obviously, when Michigan loses, just yeah. just a general loss. But man, the last game I seen of Ohio State was like before the con. The weekend before that, oh, in October. The con. Well, you should feel fortunate then. You haven't seen him play horribly. Right. So you could still be a fan then. Because so. in your eyes, your remembrance of something that was good. Right. So that's good. Well, no. Well, that's a good positive the commitments and all that. Oh. That stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, something he doesn't know much about. Right. Oh, here we go. Here we go. All right. So uh, so what's your prediction? You tell me that they have a chance of getting in at the end or no? UCF, by the way, is still undefeated and ranked higher than them. I know it's some big game still well, coming. They haven't lost, so <laughs> no, I don't agree with that. They're, they're nah, horrible schedule, horrible schedule. Wait, they're the, yeah. they're the defending national champs. You're right. 
Self-proclaimed doesn't matter. That's that's, oh. that's just like you know the, the Purdue fans Saturday night chanting they want Bama. Right, like, right, right. On. They don't understand Listen, the difference. Just, right, right. Just just stop. No, I mean, I understand I you're excited and you're riding a good wave, but let's bring it back down to reality here. This is. So, know. do they have a shot getting in? I guess that's the question. I, th- I say you're talking about the Final Four. Yeah, Final Four. No, I'm sorry. I say not. I say no chance. Nope. No chance. Mm, you never know. I think every team would have to lose. Every top ten team would have right. to lose. Well, and lose to a to a un, unranked, unranked team, team. Right. right? Which highly happen. unlikely. Highly unlikely. Right. But but all right. Well, I guess we need to switch over to you mentioned it briefly. Baker Mayfield's face. Yeah. <sighs> the Browns. I am never betting on the Browns this season again. Well, Can't you had said it. Oakland and Tampa were the must wins. Yep. And they obviously didn't they didn't get it done um, either time unbelievable which leaves much of the uh, afc oh, still left to play oh my god yeah they're in trouble so pittsburgh this week they have pittsburgh at pittsburgh yes so that means that this week they'll beat pittsburgh just because i kind of want the browns to win because pittsburgh is at number Cincinnati. one in the division right and they didn't do anything to get it right that would help they're Cincinnati number one yes yeah. yes because of that tie right oh yep and they, they, beat, C- they beat cincinnati Really? Yes. Yeah. Yep. And it was their bye week. It was their bye week, and And they they got number one because everybody (laughs) lost. Browns lost. Bengals lost. I think the Ravens lost. Yep. Yeah. That. uh, How? How? Every week they find a new way to lose. I I just. I just don't get it. I mean, they shoot themselves in the foot. I tell you what. I didn't think the icing at the end of the fourth quarter was going to work. It did. Okay. Send it into OT. (laughs) Right. But Canton Zero has been around a long time. Yeah. He's not a fresh, you know, right, kicker right. in the league. You know, he had some mistakes. He knows his mistakes. But like a true Still professional, he bounced though. back. Fifty nine yarder yeah. with that win too. Yeah. He played it perfectly. He did. He did. You got to tip your cap to him, man. You know. I mean, he he made the big kick. Uh, but so many things happened. That first half, Mayfield's running for a first down inside the twenty. Right. Flying out the first half, he gets the first down, fumbles right. the ball. The they ball goes. Won that game. The ball goes backwards. Right. So they went up losing the ball. You know, it, it, it's just I don't know. One thing after another with the Browns. Overarching, they should have won that game. There were many different points other than the the, I, the kick. We can say that three times now. Sure. Three or four games this year, which means I should already have won my bet. Unfortunately, no, unfortunately, unfortunately not. it's not how things work. We've already been in BW threes by now. That's right. But, you know. Um, unfortunately, well, the whole, be, you just think the hundred and something yards of you know penalties. For one, you got him, you know, standing up on, you know, quarterback sneak, the fumble. Yep. You run through the list. They shot themselves in the foot. Here's one thing. Here's one thing that I can say as a non Browns fan. (laughs) Pretty easy. Number one, I think Baker Mayfield belongs in Cleveland. I'll tell you why. You say that positively? No, I say that positively. (laughs) I say that positively. I can come up with negativity he, he, of the... He can play football. He's going to need a couple more years to, right. to find his professional yep. um, mode. What I liked about him, when he slid, it was one of the plays where he was doing a slide. You know, he, he scrambled with the ball and did mm-hmm. the slide. He got popped in the helmet. It was yep. a cheap shot. Yep. Uh, obviously, they called it. But the one thing that I liked about him, when he got back up, he didn't sit there and take. He got up and got in that dude's face right. and told him a piece. I said, you know what? That that's great. Right. That's right. great. I this dude agree. wants to win. He does. This dude wants to play. Yep. He's a, he is a football player. He's a quarterback, and I yep. like that about him. So I, I think. But he'll it's be, unwise of you go and do that. If that ball hit that guy, that they would have got him for taunting. If that ball hit that guy. I you know the I don't player. care. I don't care. And I'll tell that you what. Cost I tell you, that. it doesn't matter. You know what? You're, listen, there there are some things that go above and beyond uh, yardage and penalties with emotion in the game. You know what? If it would have hit him, and it was taunting, whatever. He handled it the way it should have been handled. Yeah, I like the fire. I guess I'm saying I like his fire. And, and I like his drive. Quite frankly, so if he gets a taunting penalty or an unsporting penalty, whatever you want to call it. It's not like they're winning and are in contention for a right. playoff spot, and this exactly. is going to determine. They need to turn a tie. A culture right. of losing, they got to turn it. Right. The only way to turn it, in my view, is to have that type I of see mentality. Them doing it. I, and, and they're playing. They're they're playing. They're playing. I mean, they're yep. they're not. Right. They're not losing. Right. Big. <laughs> right. Right. When's the last right. time they went three overtimes in the first half of the season? Right. right. So that tells me they're playing. 
they're putting up points. Right. So, you know, while nobody likes a tie or, or, or loss for that matter, when you're losing by three, you're playing. You're right. almost you're mating the match of your opponent. Right. You know, in years past, they would just get blown out every game. Right. So it, it, was, it was almost a nine k Because somebody's like, oh, is, is Hugh gone after this year? I don't think so. Well, I'll tell you what, though, and, and I think you might be wrong. And, here, and here's why I think that is he's retaken over the offensive play calling. Right. And when a coach, head coach does that, to me, that's almost a sign of, of, of desperation, a sign of, of, of concern, what have you. And, and so – if if he's feeling that, I, I don't, it almost sends me a message that if I'm going to go down, I'm going to go down doing it my way, and and I guess and and so I, from my end, I think that was a sign of weakness at that point when it, when he's decided he's taking it back over, right? Um, and maybe you know, and you can't have too many cooks in the kitchen, and I know that he and, and the offensive coordinator Haley don't see eye to eye in a lot of things, but in the same aspect, for a coach to do that, that well. Or Haley's got to go right soon. I mean, I'm not talking end of the season. He's either got to go with the next couple of weeks, or um, I think Hugh's done. I, yeah. I, I don't see – because I don't see them getting a lot of wins the rest of the year. Me neither. I, and, and, and honestly, and so with that, Spicy they, they've they, got, what, two right now, right? So if, if they finish up with three – well, they could finish up with two, but if they finish up with even three or four, right. is that enough to keep his job? I don't I don't know that it is. Uh, obviously, it depends on the competitive and that kind of thing. But If they keep playing the way they do, even if they lose all of them, but at a level of play – Level of play, right. and it's an improvement over last year. I think he's okay for one more year, right. but that would be it. Right. No, be it. the fans will bite back and no. fire him on the can. You can't They're already keep wanting doing, them you can't to fire him. Keep doing this. Well, that and that's you just can't. it. I'm not saying I agree, but you're looking right I now on social media. I understand that. So any Browns fan who is listening, you cannot keep calling for the hiring or firing of coaches, quarterbacks, or GMs. Because you I look at can't. Monday, people I, were saying there on agree. Facebook, and then say, "Well, blah blah blah, this is going to be the day Hugh gets fired." Yeah, there, there's definitely a calling for that. Cleveland is quick for that, no matter what. Um, I, I agree. I don't think he should be uh, fired if they could continue to compete. Right. I'm just telling you that when I see a coach take over the reins like that, to me, that's a sign of desperation. But could it be because he's got a new pup quarterback? He wants to. Run a play, series of plays that uh, very possible. You know, and let's be know. honest, I'm not in the inside. Right. I, I don't know if he's calling all of them or is just you know a few things. You know, I mean, it's hard telling. But it's also a little bit different too because I, I, you know, and I don't know. Maybe it's not a little bit different, and you can let me know. But you know, when he was with Cincinnati, he was the offensive coordinator. So it's not like he's uh, Romeo Cornell, who's a defensive guy coming in right. and now. Oh, you know, I'm going to be calling the plays. Right. I mean, his background is in the OC For position. Sure. So For sure. I don't necessarily see it as a bad thing. I mean, I've never looked at it through the way you expressed it, you right. know, as, you know, if I'm going to go out, it's going to be out of my own terms, you know, well, and have that control that, and responsibility. I, well, you can sort of see it. They struggle offensively the whole first half, and he maybe wants to change that. Well, I would say that there's – I think there's – Periods of time in every game where they go through where they struggle, um, he he is in my opinion right now Mayfield is a hurry up, speed attack orientated quarterback. Mm. When we go this underneath the center, slow, slow it up. down, mm. make it there. That's not his game. Well, At he's least still my, used to right college. now, right yeah, now, he's still used to college. Yeah, but now maybe you got to learn those growing things, and maybe that's what they're doing. Or maybe the offense needs to adjust to him. Well, that's, I mean, he that's is what your I'm leader. Saying. That's what I'm saying. You know, when when do they do well? They do awesome in a two minute offense. Right. They do great when they're when everything's got to speed up. That's when they pick up. He's creative. It allows him to be the quarterback that he is for a right. second half of a game. Well, because then they're usually behind or close or whatever, and they're having to throw and get at it. But Which it's, that's it's, it's killing speed. them. But it, but it's the speed of the game in my eyes. Present. Wrap, wrap it up. All right, time to wrap it up. Oh. <laughs> we do have another show next, right? Yeah, should okay. be. Yeah. So. All right, and we need to get you. We need to get you your food. Yes, as well. Payout. I don't want you going hungry. It's been a while. You know, Jeremiah can't can't talk all smack he wants now. All right, so all right, well, we, let's wrap it up. Come out and uh, check out your blind squirrel. Always your, catches a nut every easy once in a while. Now. Let's go check right. your Lakers Clock's out today. Three right o'clock today. Three o'clock today. Quarterfinals. Always right. A stopwatch is always right twice a day. It is. Have fun, guys. Go Lakers, 3 o'clock today. Lakers Go Lakers. Field soccer. Take it Looks home. like you Good have a beautiful day. Nice day outside for now. Right. For now. Let's go get Steve some food, man. Congratulations to him. Do we have a game of the week? Are we going to pick or are we, are we taking a week off? I don't know if there's a game more. Let's bet on the Browns again. 
No, we need to get Pittsburgh. Matt Bossman here or to, it's to solidify our bet that we have between the four of us. Because I'm not Florida going. And, I'm not going into this B Dub's bet. Florida and Judge and Georgia. Mm. Florida, Georgia. Yeah, Florida, Georgia. I'll take Georgia if you want to go into it. It's I'll do Georgia. Gator. I'll it's do Gators. Georgia. It's at Georgia. That's okay. I'll do Gators. All right. Yeah. Same. Same as usual. What are you taking? Georgia. Okay. Same as usual. <laughs> same mm. as usual. All right, Florida, Georgia. All right. All right. Sounds good. Have fun, guys. Bye. Go Lakers.